Hey everybody, welcome to the One Year Bible Reading for January 23rd. Before I start reading, let's go ahead and pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for another day, Lord. May you help us to focus on you and your word, to put you first, to get rid of all of our desires of this world, and to put you high and to give you all the praise and worship and, and honor that you deserve, Lord. May we understand what we're about to read, give us discernment, May we apply it to our daily lives, Lord, and may you take control over our lives, Lord. May we all have a great day, and in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Okay, so Genesis 46, 1 through 47, 31. <clears throat> so Israel took his journey with all that he had and came to Beersheba and offered sacrifices to the God of his father Isaac. Then God spoke to Israel in the visions of the night and said, Jacob, Jacob. And he said, Here I am. So he said, I am God, the God of your father. Do not fear to go down to Egypt, for I'll make of you a great nation there. I will go down with you to Egypt, and I will also surely bring you up again. And Joseph will put his hand on your eyes. <clears throat> then Jacob arose from Beersheba, and the sons of Israel carried their father Jacob their little ones and their wives, and the carts which Pharaoh had sent to carry him. So they took their livestock and their goods, which they had acquired in the land of Canaan, and went to Egypt, Jacob and all his descendants with him, his sons and his sons' sons, his daughters and his sons' daughters, and all his descendants he brought back with him to Egypt. Now these were the names of the children of Israel, Jacob and his sons, who went to Egypt. Reuben was Jacob's firstborn, the sons of Reuben were Hanak, Palu, Hezron, and Carmi. The sons of Simeon were Jemuel, Jamin, Ohad, Jashin, Zohar, and Shaul, the son of a Canaanite woman. The sons of Levi were Gershon, Kohath, and Merari. The sons of Judah were Ur, Onan, Shelah, Perez, and Zerah. But Ur and Onan died in the land of Canaan. The sons of Perez were Hezron and Hamu. The sons of Issachar were Tola, Puva, Job, and Shimron. The sons of Zebulun were Sered, Elon, and Jahlil. These were the sons of Leah, whom she bore to Jacob in Padan Aram, with his daughter Dina. All the persons, his sons and his daughters, were thirty-three. The sons of Gad were Ziphion, Haggai, Shuni, Esbon, Eri, Arodi, and Areli. The sons of Asher were Jimna, Ishua, Isui, Beria, and Serah, their sister. And the sons of Beria were Heber and Machiel. These were the sons of Zilpah, whom Laban gave to Leah his daughter, and these she bore to Jacob, sixteen persons. The sons of Rachel, Jacob's wife, were Joseph and Benjamin. And to Joseph in the land of Egypt were born Manasseh and Ephraim, whom Asenath, the daughter of Potipera, priest of On, bore to him. The sons of Benjamin were Bela, Besher, Ashbel, Gira, Naman, Ehi, Rosh, Mipim, Hupim, and Ard. These were the sons of Rachel who were born to Jacob, fourteen persons in all. The sons of Dan were Husham, the sons of Naphtali were Jazil, Guni, Jezer, and Shilam. These were the sons of Bilhah, whom Laban gave to Rachel his daughter. And she bore these to Jacob, seven persons in all. All the persons who went to, with Jacob to Egypt, who came from his body, besides Jacob's sons' wives, were sixty-six persons in all. And the sons of Joseph, who were born to him in Egypt, were two persons. All the persons of the house of Jacob who went to Egypt were seventy. Then he sent Judah before him to Joseph to point out before him the way to Goshen. And they came to the land of Goshen. So Joseph made ready his chariot and went up to Goshen to meet his father Israel. He presented himself to him and fell on his neck and wept on his neck a good while. <clears throat> and Israel said to Joseph, Now let me die since I have seen your face because you are still alive. Then Joseph said to his brothers and to his father's household, I will go up and tell Pharaoh and say to him, My brothers and those of my father's house who are in the land of Canaan have come to me. 
and the men are shepherds, for their occupation has been to feed livestock. And they have brought their flocks, their herds, and all they have. So it shall be, when Pharaoh calls you and says, What is your occupation? That you shall say, Your servant's occupation has been with livestock from our youth even till now, both we and also our fathers, that you may dwell in the land of Goshen. For every shepherd is an abomination to the Egyptians. Then Joseph went, and told Pharaoh and said, My father and my brothers, their, their flocks and their herds, and all that they possess, have come from the land of Canaan, and indeed they are in the land of Goshen. And he took five men from among his brothers and presented them to Pharaoh. Then Pharaoh said to his brothers, What is your occupation? And they said to Pharaoh, Your servants are shepherds, both we and also our fathers. And they said to Pharaoh, We have come to dwell in the land, because your servants have no pasture for their flocks, for the famine is severe in the land of Canaan. Now therefore, please let your servants dwell in the land of Goshen. Then Pharaoh spoke to Joseph, saying, Your father and your brothers have come to you. The land of Egypt is before you. Have your fathers and brothers dwell in the best of the land. Let them dwell in the land of Goshen. And if you know any competent men among them, then make them chief herdsmen over my livestock. Then Joseph brought in his father Jacob and sent him before Pharaoh. And Jacob blessed Pharaoh. Pharaoh said to Jacob, How old are you? And Jacob said to Pharaoh, <clears throat> The days of the years of my pilgrimage are one hundred and thirty years. Few and evil have been the days of the years of my life, and they have not attained to the days of the years of the life of my fathers in the days of their pilgrimage. So Jacob blessed Pharaoh and went out from before Pharaoh. And Joseph situated his father and his brothers, and gave them a possession of the land of Egypt, and the best of the land, and the land of Ramses, as Pharaoh had commanded. Then Joseph provided his father, his brothers, and all his father's household with bread, according to the number of their families. Now there was no bread in all the land, for the famine was very severe, so that the land of Egypt and the land of Canaan languished because of the famine. And Joseph gathered up all the money that, he, that was found in the land of Egypt and in the land of Canaan for the grain which they bought. <clears throat> and Joseph brought the money into Pharaoh's house. So when the money failed in the land of Egypt and in the land of Canaan, all the Egyptians, Egyptians came to Joseph and said, Give us bread, for why should we die in your presence? For the money has failed. Then Joseph said, Give your livestock and I will give you bread for your livestock. If the money is gone. So they brought their livestock to Joseph, and Joseph gave them bread in exchange for the horses, the flocks, the cattle of the herds, and for the donkeys. Thus he fed them with bread in exchange for all their livestock that year. When that year had ended, they came to him the next year and said to him, We will not hide from my Lord that our money is gone. My Lord also has our herds of livestock. There is nothing left in the, in the sight of my Lord but our bodies and our lands. Why should we die before your eyes, both we and our land? Buy us and our land for bread, and we and our land will be servants of Pharaoh. Give us seed that we may live and not die, that the land may not be desolate. Then Joseph bought all the land of, of Egypt for Pharaoh, for every man of the Egyptians sold his field because the famine was severe upon them. So the land became Pharaoh's, and as for the people, he moved them into the cities, from one end of the borders of Egypt to the other end. Only the land of the priests he did not buy, for the priests had rations allotted to them by Pharaoh, and they ate their rations which Pharaoh gave them. Therefore they did not sell their lands. Then Joseph said to the people, <clears throat> Indeed, I have bought you and your land this day for Pharaoh. Look, here is seed for you, and you shall sow the land. And it shall come to pass in the harvest that you shall give one-fifth to Pharaoh. Four-fifths shall be your own as for seed for the field and for your food, for those of your households and as food for your little ones. So they said, You have saved our lives. Let us find favor in the sight of, the Lord, of my Lord, and we will be Pharaoh's servants. And Joseph made it a law over the land of Egypt to this day, that Pharaoh should have one-fifth except for the land of the priests only, 
which did not become Pharaoh's. So Israel dwelt in the land of Egypt, in the country of Goshen, and they had possessions there and grew and multiplied exceedingly. And Jacob lived in the land of Egypt 17 years. So the length of Jacob's life was 147 years. When the time drew near that Israel must die, he called his son Joseph and said to him, Now if I have found favor in your sight, please put your hand under my thigh and deal kindly and truly with me. Please do not bury me in Egypt, but let me lie with my fathers. You shall carry me out of Egypt and bury me in their burial place. And he said, I will do as you have said. Then he said, Swear to me. And he swore to him, so Israel bowed himself on the head of the bed. Okay, that was the Old Testament. We're going into the New Testament, Matthew 15, 1 through 28. <clears throat> then the scribes and Pharisees who were from Jerusalem came to Jesus, saying, Why do your disciples transgress the tradition of the elders? For they do not wash their hands when they eat bread. He answered and said to them, why do you also transgress the commandment of God because of your tradition? For God commanded, saying, Honor your father and your mother. And he who curses father or mother, let him be put to death. But you say, Whoever says to his father or mother, Whatever profit you might have received from me is a gift to God, then he need not honor his father or mother. Thus you have made the commandment of God of no effect by your trans tradition. Hypocrites, well, did I say a prophesy about you, saying, These people draw near to me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me, and in vain they worship me, teaching as doctrines the commandments of men. When he had called the multitude to himself, he said to them, Hear and understand. Not what goes into the mouth defiles a man, but what comes out of, the, out of the mouth, this defiles a man. Then his disciples came and said to him, Do you know that the Pharisees were offended when they heard this saying? But he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly Father has not planted will be uprooted. Let them alone. They are blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind leads the blind... Both will fall into a ditch. Then Peter answered and said to him, Explain this parable to us. So Jesus said, Are you also still without understanding? Do you not yet understand that whatever enters the mouth goes into the stomach and is eliminated? But those things which proceed out of the mouth come from the heart, and they defile a man. For out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, thefts, false witness, blasphemies. These are the things which defile a man, but to eat with unwashed hands does not defile a man. Then Jesus went from there and departed to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came from that region and cried out to him, saying, have mercy on me, O Lord, son of David. My daughter is severely demon-possessed. But he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and urged him, saying, Send her away, for she cries out after us. But he answered and said, I was not sent except to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then she came and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, it is not good to take the children's bread and throw it to the little dogs. And she said, Yes, Lord, even the little dogs eat the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered and said to her, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be to you as you desire. And her daughter was healed from that very hour. Okay, we're going into Psalm 19, 1 through 14. To the chief musician, of a psalm of David. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament shows his handiwork. Day unto day utters speech, and night unto night reveals knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their line has gone out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them he has set a tabernacle for the sun, 
which is like a bridegroom coming out of his chamber and rejoices like a strong man to run its race. Its rising is from one end of heaven and its circuit to the other end, and there is nothing hidden from its heat. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold. Yeah, than, than much fine gold. Sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Moreover by them your servant is warned, and in keeping them there is great reward. Who can understand his errors? Cleanse me from secret faults. Keep back your servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have do dominion over me. Then I shall be blameless, and I shall be innocent of great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Okay, we're going into Proverbs 4, 14 through 19. Do not enter the path of the wicked and do not walk in the way of evil. Avoid it. Do not travel on it. Turn away from it and pass on. For they do not sleep unless they have done evil, and their sleep is taken away unless they make someone fall. For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. But the path of the just is like the, the shining sun <clears throat> that shines ever brighter unto the perfect day. The way of the wicked is like darkness. They do not know what makes them stumble. I hope you guys all have a great day. Remember to, to put God first, seek his word, get your daily bread in every day, and just praise him. Hope you guys have a good one. Peace out.